Oh, heavens no. My joy, shouldn't I? Percy, Percy. been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. That's a past we can remember safely. <laughs> well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. I think we can live with that. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of your work now, Clive. <laughs>
Nothing wrong with that one. That's a rather inconvenient bit of history. to you, Prudence. Coming back, are you, Prue? But where did she go? Are you off your joy, Prue? I mean, you too. No, no, leave me alone. I took my joy. I took my joy. No, no, leave me alone. No. Oh, hi, Arthur. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it.
No stupid thought of feeling bad. Don't have to. Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in again next time when we'll talk about malaria. It's not nearly as bad as it sounds. Most people survive it. <laughs> this, is Joe. this is Dr. Jack Whirling saying my prescription for you is to stay well, well, well. <laughs> There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Smash it. Go on, smash it, silly face off. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh, my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time for us without Ray's. You smell gas? Flame and Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Chase me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. There we go. 
bring me to the salamander and me getting into constant trouble for me pay off. Just like every day, I'll be your siren. Except when I'm not. really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. going to hurt us no one's going to hurt you Percy I I promise but, but, but they hurt the city I don't think they'll blow anything else up why because we surrendered they hope well, what are we going to do Arthur we're brothers I'll look out for we'll look out for each other It's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Just to go to just yet. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. 
If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. I'm coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. This doesn't give me food poisoning. A rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. Loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. What's on those beds? Oh, God. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all of their joy out here.
a toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. all over the garden district, don't they? A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? Well, to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? Lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. I suppose I could. Might I throw up. Oh, God. That smells awful in here. Terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. They seem to be pretty clean. Unlike in the village where they spike it with joy.
nice scent. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? Ho <laughs> ho You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. So you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there. With the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back from me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny, they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have installed most of those, too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Just looking. Locked. Aha, but I remember how to make a lock pick. When did it all start to fall apart? It worked for a decade and a half, didn't it? Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Oh. 
Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. That will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. in kindergarten.
I've got a sinking feeling. Oh, God, this shot. Oh, God. Some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medal. Now that no one is actively trying to kill, I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd.
Guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. All right. Now I just need that power seal. Jack Worthy, that's me, tells you all about the bizarre and ridiculous things people do in other countries. Let's start with Torobolos. He's an Icelandic place where you eat disgusting food. Yes, pressed pickled ram testicles, seal flippers, whale blubber, and my favorite, fermented shark. <laughs> you must be wondering, how do you... How do you You must be wondering, how do you, how do you go around preparing that? Well, you see, you let it rot in the sand for a few months until it... Well, I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes.
It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh... Hello? Anyone out there? What the hell? Are you a tourist? You dress like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. You want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral? Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio. suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. for you today at 4.15. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good lie today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry, but I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. Toys of tiny beds. Tiny bed. It's in every house. At least we're alive. Right. I'm trying not to talk about the food. You know. There's only one book final. safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. I got your medals. Thank 
you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. Welcome to the bloody garden district. You've got to find something to eat. Keep doing this. <sighs> Bloody hell, I've forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. down and I'm off to the train station. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station. Tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired. So we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <sighs> oh. I hope that's the worst thing I remember, says the chap heading. To the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. 
No, I just need to find the train station. I ought to be able to see it from a distance. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? Don't go out in people's boxes just because they're not looking, all right? And here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river. And then all over Britain. I wonder if Prue made it. What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your board bags, I'll piss in your corpses! We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the bee meat! Jesus Christ, I haven't been in here since. Yeah, let's not talk about that. What if we just not helped? Please don't make you know. a fuss. We're not a bloody bread and breakfast, are we? This isn't Harry. It never was. doing this to each other. Let me see. It's not you, it's me.
How do I get down to the tracks? Oh, oh, shit. Sorry to bother. Can't we just agree to disagree? That's how I get down. Right. Huh. Now I'll just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells.
Mm. I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. Too old to go to Germany, are you not? Please, no! You can't take care of yourself! Ah, Bloody Bobby. I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. I don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. some sort of caving. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, look! It's a little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, 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 can we pound him now? 
Yep. And no coming back. you actually And smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more.
bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie? I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! No! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! You go mental! I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always oh, lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh, my God, Artie. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in, and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. <laughs> you could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... It's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Brilliant! There's a warehouse. In the old German camp, we could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? I don't actually know the way out, you know. Arthur, you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. That's Margaret. From school. Margaret... What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it.
are there cables coming out of that painting? Why does that bookshelf look like it doesn't quite fit? I wonder if it's some sort of secret door. I think it needs power. Where can I turn on the power? on purpose. seen one of those in a while. stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. Now I can come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me.